continue to fall breaking news here out of Sacramento, where police are investigating yet another homicide this week. Fox 40's Monica DeAnda joins us live at the Sacramento Police Department. And Monica, they just finished a briefing about this latest deadly shooting. This now makes 13 in just the last few days. It does, and Siri Melanie, good morning. That briefing just wrapped up. We know there was 13 people shot over the last week, five of those people dead. Now, some interesting statistics that were shared here is that of those 13 people shot, 11 were African-American, two of them Hispanic. So police saying this is disproportionately affecting communities of color, especially the African-American community here in Sacramento. So this is something that they are highly concerned about. A lot of the victims also from January until May that have died due to shooting shootings or any homicide related uh, investigations has been people under 30 years old. So 50% of victims are under the age of 30. That is affecting a lot of young people. This is something that is obviously plaguing the city. We know over the last week there have been five people that have been shot in Sacramento. Uh, two of those in North Sacramento, two of them in Del Paso, and then just the latest one that happened over in the Oak Park community. I want to get to some video and show you what that murder investigation looked like when we showed up around 4 a.m. this morning. You can see a daylight video here of that investigation underway. We know that one male adult lost their life there. They were shot multiple times. Now. At this point, they have no suspect information, nobody detained in that con connection to that specific homicide. But again, they do tell us that uh, that person was an adult male. So that is new information we're learning. As far as the Center Parkway shooting that happened just last night over in South Sacramento, they say they do have a person of interest detained in that investigation. As far as a person who was shot, we also have learned that was an adult male and they remain in critical condition this morning. So those are just two shootings in the last 24 hours. And of course, we know there have been others uh, earlier in the week that we reported on. So one of the things that the spokesperson told us is that gun violence is plaguing the city, and this is something they are highly concerned about. This morning's homicide was the 16th of the year, so they are planning to meet with community leaders later on today, and also we're going to hear from Chief Kathy Lester about the gun violence and how they plan to move forward. Now, Sincere and Melanie, last thing I want to say here is that even though there have been 16 homicides this year, last year at this time, there were already 27. So there is a decrease from this year to last year, but however, you know, still very concerning, especially given the amount of shootings we've seen just this week alone. With that, I will send it back over to you guys. And they're still searching for the suspects. It's exactly. also a disturbing factor in this. A lot of people very nervous mm -hmm. in their neighborhoods. Monica, thank you.